and welcome to the official chart wrap up with me, Jamila Jamil. I'm here to bring you the biggest artists, the latest pop gossip, and of course, your UK official chart number one. So last week, Calvin Harris and John Newman had a lovely time. They went straight to number one. However, have they managed to hold off the competition from the likes of Sigma and Paloma Faith? Let's find out. George Ezra is number 10 this week with Blame It On Me, jumping a massive 10 places. He was also very recently in the live land with Fern, covering Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. It's so good. Check it out on our YouTube channel right now. So Magic and On Move is again with Rude at number 9. They've just announced dates for their stadium tour next year. I'm talking about the script. We're a non-mover at number eight with superheroes. At number seven, down two places, it's Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora with their vampy action movie, The Black Widow. Sam Smith is this week's number six, down three places with I'm Not The Only One. Now, Sam has managed to reduce Lady Gaga to tears this week, but it's okay, it's in a nice way. He emailed her saying thank you for being such a big inspiration, which Gaga said moved her to tears in a simply gushing tweet. Aww. A supposed beef with Katy Perry might be grabbing all the headlines, but she is still going so strong in the chart as Taylor Swift is down one at number five with Shake It Off. It's a new entry at number four for Professor Green and Tori Kelly with Lullaby. The video features Pro Green hanging out on the back of a pickup truck with his new best friend. And here is what happened when he dropped in to see us live in the studio on the official chart. I was telling uh, Ina Rolson and Chris Loco, who I wrote a record with, the story about my great-grandmother and how she was the person that when I was a kid. And I think as children, most of us that are fortunate enough to have this person, you, you have someone who tells you everything's going to be okay and you believe them no matter what, but there comes a, there comes a time when you come of age and um, you realise that sometimes everything isn't going to be okay and you always kind of long for that security again, but you know you're never going to have it. Mm -hmm. um, and the other part of it, I guess, is about... Depression and anxiety, which is not something many people speak out about, which is a problem. That's one of the biggest problems about it. Um, people are always asked how they are and the instant response is, I'm fine. fine. Yeah. And quite often that's not the case. Um, although the song's about depression, it's not at all a depressing song. It's about the resolve, it's about the fight, it's about coming out the other side of it. Former number one, Prayer and Sea by Robin Schultz and Lily Wood drops one place to number three this week. Last week's number one is this week's number two. Blame by Calvin Harris and John Newman is knocked off the top spot after one week, meaning we have a new number one. So Sigma and Paloma Faith have done it. They have gone straight in at number one with Changing. We caught up with them in the studio as they scooped their second number one of the year and they showed us the number one dance. Luke, are you going to twerk? Mm. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> Is there something that's been pre-arranged? Because I will make uh, no, you do don't. it. We have a dance routine, oh, boys! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh this Imagine is going to be a very good day. Oh. Like at school, when you plan it. We're like, uh, uh. What, like the Ross and, the Ross and Monica? <laughs> So Sigma and Paloma Faith have gone straight in at number one, which means that they have beaten Professor Green and dethroned Calvin Harris and John Newman. Remember to join us every Sunday from 4pm on Radio 1 and catch up with us for the official chart wrap-up every Monday morning. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to all of Radio 1's videos so that you can see them first. I will see you next week.